So this is the Phoenix Flight Gear Carbon Fiber 110 millimeter frame kit for the Nano QX foam velcro for the battery and these foamies get wrapped around the motor and then uh, put into the uh, thing there. I have a few other ideas for uh, mounting the motors onto the frame and one of the ones that I have is these using these uh, grommets. Uh, this particular one is a 6 millimeter by 13. I have some 5 millimeters that are uh, snugger fit that I'll be using, but I push the motor into the grommet about halfway and then snap that into the holder. It's quite secure. And I was thinking I would try something like this. I thought I would try for a landing pad, either something like that, which is the uh, anti-vibration pads. Attach some zip ties in a manner that would have them sitting out like at an angle that would give a springy landing thing. So one thing I am going to do is a little bit of hot glue here to secure the use of motor wires when we're putting the uh, landing pads on and off or whatever and uh, make sure that they aren't pulled off. I got some uh, package of six grommets for a couple dollars. So they're about one quarter inch ID and about half inch OD. The motors fit in there nice and snug, so I think these will probably be the way I go. I'm just going to weigh everything up and see what the weight differences will be. Another idea I had was using these uh, bare landing skids without any battery connector on my V911 helicopter and uh, mounting them somehow like so. This frame is about 0.45 grams. These four little rubber feet are about 2.4 grams, so almost 2 grams heavier than the little frame. Another uh, idea I was kicking around is using these plastic sleeves with the little rubber foot from the uh, Walker uh, QRX1, which would you know, slide up like that. But they're very loose and I don't think they'd be a good idea. Let's get kind of leaning toward this because this is 0.45 grams versus 2.4 grams for a set of those. And for a set of four of these uh, little zip tie feet it would be about 1.05, 1.06 grams. So that is still the lightest by quite a margin and should get a pretty good springy and uh, secure landing uh, pad. You have to get in there and disconnect all these little connectors without damaging the wires very carefully. The receiver is just held on with some very strong tape. I'm going to work these out with a tiny screwdriver so not to put too much force on the the receiver and they are a pain. There's another one out. There's another one. And then this last one. Alright. This is all we need from here. Now this little sticky pad, there happens to be a spare one in the package that come with. I'm just gonna work that off of there really carefully. Little H shape. When you look at this, it almost looks like they're kind of put on there haphazardly, but I guess that's so it fits inside the frame. So this is the front. The battery holder is at the rear. Antenna goes out toward the right. So this is the front right, front left, 
rear right and rear left. It may seem odd that this is front right, for example, but when this is flipped over and installed on the frame, then this is the front right, which is correct orientation. Okay, so I have a spare mounting plate, which I'm going to try and go on like that. I'll set it just so that it's accessible to the and it balances right there. And when I take it off and look at the bottom of it, it's going to look kind of like that. So my plugs don't line up anywhere with the in the slot part there. So it's going to go like that, and it and it balances good there. It's going to sit just like that on the frame. And that is what it looks like with the receiver mounted. I put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom of each of the motors just to keep the uh, tension off of the little wires there. Okay, so it is important to note the color wire colors. Uh, they are different for the micromotor setup uh, than with the stock setup. Um, this is looking at it upside down, so let's top this this corner here, which will be top left when it's flipped over, it's counterclockwise, and it has the black and white wires, and the same down here, and then the top left, which will become the top right when it's flipped over, uh, is uh, clockwise uh, with the red and green, and the same back down here. When you're putting these on, make sure that the wires kind of line up with the arms. So easy to break these little wires if you're not careful what you do here. Okay, so I've got the motors on, looking still from the bottom. Red and blue, clockwise, red and blue, clockwise, black and white, counterclockwise, black and white counterclockwise. Now when we flip this around, that's the front. Okay, okay so Okay, so I've got my Phoenix Flight Gear 110mm frame and I've got my Micromotor Fast uh, motors. I've got, the, I've got them mounted in some rubber grommets rather than the foam tape. 
Uh, and I put some skids on the bottom from a, a V911 helicopter, just adhesive on there. And they work okay and they're light, but the problem is, well, it sits on something level, there's a slight tilt to the back to the quad, and it forces me to give a bunch of forward trim. And I don't particularly like doing that. I'm not sure if you can make out the tilt there, but it definitely tilts uh, to the back uh, front high when it sits on this particular skid, the way, it ha the way I had to mount it. And uh, so, the 391 landing here. I managed to find some, these are actually called vacuum caps, but they're also, I believe, used as uh, thread protectors uh, for protruding threads. These ones are a quarter inch, and they fit on the motors quite nicely. Uh, unfortunately, each size is a different color, so the next size down is white, which is too small for the motors. The next size up is blue, which is too big for the motors, so they have to all be red, but that's all right. They're a nice kind of feel like a, almost like a silicone rubber. Nice and flexible, I think they'll work good. Okay, I've got the V911 skids removed. I've got the motors pushed down and I've got lots of slack in the wiring on each one. I've measured the distance to make sure they're all sitting the same amount. Carefully press on our little rubber feet. It looks good. But I think I'm going to shorten them legs a bit. They don't need to be quite that long and I'll shave just a little weight off. Yeah, so these things are about three quarter inch long and I have about about five sixteenths sticking out here. So I will trim off about a quarter inch off of these. And with rubber bumpers instead of the V911 skids and they look good on there. Unfortunately they are the same color but we still have the props for orientation and orientation is overrated anyways. Just keep moving the sticks till it starts coming back to you. Okay we'll see what we have for weight here. Just keep everything the foam just to keep everything suspended and it looks like about 17.6 close to 17.7 grams so it's not a lightweight but I think it's going to fly well I think I'm going to like the bumpers a lot better than the uh, skids from the V911 
Okay, so I think this is going to be the final setup on this, and we'll just throw it up and see how it Some corrections to keep it in one spot, but it's not difficult to hover at all. 